Hello and welcome to SBS Academy, the digital space where you get an opportunity to learn English with Shucharita. With quality content and that too absolutely free of cost, this online portal will enable you to be efficient in communication and soft skills for success in the corporate world. Like, follow and subscribe to the portal on Facebook and YouTube for SBS tips, reels, shorts and detailed videos on communicative English and soft skills. As promised earlier, we shall focus on the feedback and queries raised by our viewers and supporters on the content showcased in our videos for over one year. The first one such is active listening and optimum speaking for effective communication raised by a former student of mine. We shall proceed with the video with the following signpost. First, the background behind the question followed by a reference to the original query posted. The gist of the lesson to be covered quickly is to be followed by the major takeaways by the learner from the lesson. The final leg of the lesson is about the features of a presentation that make communication effective and how to maintain it throughout. We have often heard or experienced a situation where the speaker is not fluent, confident or expressive enough, either verbally or in body language which hampers effective communication. But has it ever occurred to you that you have been told by your superior or your associates that although you have ample fluency in communication, your ideas do not get across to your counterparts? Maybe you are bubbling with so much of energy that you end up speaking too fast or too much? Maybe you do not let, unintentionally though, your counterparts absorb your ideas? Maybe your listening skills are not active enough, which does not allow you to become a team player. Or is it your body language or tonal variations that are playing the spoiled sport and do not let you become assertive at communication? This peculiar problem has been faced by Deep Shikha, a former student of mine and a corporate professional at present. To quote her feedback, could you please prepare content on effective communication? Most feedback that I receive from my manager on this part especially to speak less but be assertive and effective. I often get feedback that you speak too much and the person listening to you often loses interest. What should I do to improve? I am sure many of you have faced such a situation in your profession and this video aims to provide a solution to this very unusual but a very pertinent problem in communication. For effective communication, it is not just necessary that you are a fluent speaker with great content to back you up. It is equally important that you listen to your counterparts actively and frame your feedback or message accordingly. And for this, you may revisit the playlist on effective communication on this channel or page. You may find the link for these in the description box. At the same time, it is imperative that you realize the importance of body language and tone uh, which play in effective communication and modulate them as per the needs of the conversation. We will touch upon the following aspects to address the issue posted by Deep Shikha, which I believe will help many of you to become better communicators. First, what is assertiveness in communication? This point shall be deliberated in some detail in this video as we need to understand the fine line that overlaps assertiveness, politeness and rudeness. Second, speaking optimally does not mean the same as speaking less. It means speaking as per the need, neither much nor less. Third, improve active listening skills. We will learn what active listening is and how to build it up for effective communication. However, we won't be going into the details of listening as an entire playlist dedicated to listening is planned in the near future. 
Fourth, how can you corroborate non-verbal cues and tonal variations with the aforementioned aspects of communication to make it effective? We will find out how these features of communication can make you a team player and an assertive communicator. Optimum speaking and active listening are complementary skills that work in tandem. We often come across common cases where you may be a reticent communicator who is not confident or too shy to express yourself or not sure of your capacity to express the content or hesitant as to how your ideas may be received or rejected and hence refuse to speak as desired. Or maybe you are excessively talkative or a hyperactive communicator bubbling with energy so much that you speak too fast or your speech lacks clarity. Clients, peers, associates are not able to grasp your content and so you have no idea of the recipient's capacity of understanding. Or you talk so much that others participating in the conversation do not get an opportunity to speak and thus you fail to consider the recipient's participation. Or your garrulous nature does not allow you to collate your idea sequentially to fit into the format of a formal communication. And thus your speech lacks the precision and conciseness required in a business presentation. Now both the situations are equally problematic for effective communication. So the main mantra is to strike a fine balance between the two extremes. The only way you can manage to speak optimally is to impose rigorous self-restraint. Be very conscious of the pace of your speech. Remain alert whether you are giving enough space to others during a conversation. It is important that you consciously recognize your role as a team player rather than a solo performer. You can practice through audio recorded at home or in front of the mirror to assess whether you are speaking too much, too fast and exercise control on your verbal communication skills accordingly. What is active listening and what are its implications? For this, we need to know what active listening is. It is about giving complete attention to what a person is saying, listening carefully while showing interest and not interrupting. Active listening requires listening for content, intent and feeling of the speaker. The active listener shows their interest verbally with questions and with non-verbal visual cues signifying that the other person has something important to say. Active listening generally does not occur in hurried communication between two people. How does active listening help in effective communication? It helps in avoiding misinterpretation due to hurried communication. It sustains enthusiastic reception of ideas. It postpones evaluation and organizes information. Listening requires the managers to understand that their staff and customers are important. Managers listen to their staff's ideas and this has the ability to draw out their best advice. It is certain when leaders allocate time to listen actively, they build trust and commitment in their work and this is different from one-way communication and issuing orders to people. Supervisors with better listening skills and attitude enhance their communication with subordinates, which results in the subordinates' perception that they have more support, which causes them to give better to the organization. What is assertiveness in communication? Assertiveness means expressing your point of view in a way that is clear and direct while still respecting others. Communicating in an assertive manner can help you to minimize conflicts, control anger, 
have your needs met better and have a more positive relationship with family friends and others assertiveness in communication includes considering the needs of others as well as oneself using clear language to get points across and building self esteem let's take an example of assertive communication imagine you're standing in line at a bank and someone else pushes in front of you an assertive response would be to gently tap the person on the shoulder and say in a clear but respectful voice excuse me there's actually a line here it would be better if you could wait for your turn like the rest of us chances are that you will get a more positive response to this perhaps the other person will apologize and move back to the line or they may explain the reason for wanting to push in and you may feel happy to do them this favor you will feel good knowing that you did your best and used assertive communication effectively your assertive communication and active listening must corroborate with nonverbal communication your nonverbal communication cues like the way you listen look move react tell the person you are communicating with whether or not you care if you are being truthful and how well you are listening when your nonverbal signals match up with your words you are saying they increase trust clarity and rapport when they don't they can generate tension mistrust and confusion if you want to become a better communicator it is important to become more sensitive not only to the body language and nonverbal cues of others but also be conscious of your own which nonverbal communication cues one should consider for optimum speaking and active listening for effective communication it includes appropriate body movement posture showing involvement proper facial expression expressive eye contact showing interest in the speaker's words minimum verbal encouragement attentive silence reflecting back on the feelings and content and summarizing intellectually the speaker's words and their purpose it should strike a balance with optimum speaking assertive communication and active listening now let's draw attention to the role of tonal variations and how they contribute to effective communication by aptly complementing with nonverbal communication optimum speaking active listening for an overall effective experience in communication for this you have to make sure that the pace of your speech is not too fast but just right enough for the listeners to understand the tone should not be aggressive or too loud the voice should be modulated according to the type of content delivered so that the interest of the listeners is sustained avoid sounding monotonous because the audience automatically tunes out the audience thinks that they know what you are going to say the next and say they so they automatically stop listening let's take a look at a few more strategies of tonal variations that help in raising the bar for effective communication emphasis is the quickest way to add some range to your speech go through your speech and see which words are keys to communicating your message pick these words and give them weight in your speech and through your voice we could be excited or shaking with nervousness while giving a presentation and that's absolutely normal so you may be conscious about your speech and be conscious about your speech and provide a few pauses because those can greatly improve the impact of your speech an alternative soft and loud voice that is vocal variation improves the clarity of your speech and is an easy way to modulate your vocal tones make sure that you draw the line between being loud and shouting to round off our discussion and to sum up 
the ways or the strategies by which you can improve your communication for more effectiveness at work you can ask your colleague peer or client if they have already pointed out that there are certain lapses in your communication skills and strategies you may actually request them to give you feedback from time to time whether or not you are improving on those lapses now don't forget to inform them that you are consciously working on them and if you are lucky that they are cooperative enough you may gradually improve with time with their continued feedback remember one thing magic doesn't happen overnight you need to put up with sustained practice and improvisation to achieve effective communication thank you for watching the video do show us your generous appreciation and support with positive reactions and comments if you like the content subscribe to sbs academy's youtube channel and follow the page on facebook let us know in the comments which topics would you like us to cover share the video to spread the positivity of learning and success for all those who are trying to carve a niche in the professional world happy learning to all